everybody, it's Reagan Sample, your Longmont Realtor, and today I'm in downtown Longmont, I'm at Urban Field Pizza and Market, and with Lindsay Bedard, one of the co-owners. I'm excited for you to tell us, Lindsay, about your business and what made you start it. Urban Field Pizza and Market is different than any other restaurant in town, so I guess I'll just turn it to you. What made you start it and tell us about the business? Thank you, Reagan. Yeah. We're really excited to get the word out about Urban Field Pizza and Market. Um, I'm one of four co-owners and the three of, us, three of us started over at the Mountain Sun Group, so Long's Peak Pub here in town. Um, I opened that restaurant and ran it for the last seven and a half years before I decided to make the jump here. Um, my, one of my partners is um, Paul Nashak, who is currently still one of the partner and owners at Long's Peak Pub, so we really knew we wanted to be in Longmont. Um, Nick Swanson, who is our chef and was the chef at Under the Sun Pizza. We both are raising our families here, so um, we are excited to bring, you know, a really exciting new concept to the community we already call home. Nice, and so you guys have already been like working together, know each other really yeah. well, a lot of experience, so really it's an well. awesome, exciting adventure to kind of go from where you had been working before and create your own different just concept, like yeah. you're saying. Yeah, it's a, it's a totally different concept, and Paul and Nick kind of started the talkings of it, and then once they started filling me in on the ideas. I'm like, I want to be a part of this. And then, you know, thinking it was some sort of just pipe dream, um, COVID happened. And then after the hardships and, you know, things that, the trials and tribulations we had to go through for COVID, I was like, you know what? I think it's time to do something for my own, for sure. on, my, on my own. Like if I'm going to be in this industry still, I want to, I want to jump out. So I was like, I want to be a part of it. So I, yeah, so I jumped in with them. And then our fourth partner, Darren Gilman, he works at the Quirk currently, but him and Nick go way back from Nick's first restaurant job ever at Basta wow. in, um, in Boulder. He was a bus man and he was so bad that Darren's wife was like, either you're going to be in the kitchen or you're not going to make it in this industry. So <laughs> that's how he kind of started. And then he's been everywhere from New York to Italy to study food and he makes amazing, amazing creations in the kitchen. So oh, nice. that's super exciting. And then another thing that really sets us apart is that we try very hard to bring as much as we can in that's local yeah. um, at, a, at an affordable cost. So um, we have over 42 different um, local people between the market and the restaurant, which is amazing. So you kind of talked about like some people might say urban field pizza and market and they're thinking like, what is this? Because it's different, right? Most people that say pizzeria or restaurant, whatever. Tell us more about the market idea. What can people expect? So, you know, it's always changing. When we first opened, I'm, I tried really hard to get a lot of seasonal vegetables and stuff. And, you know, it's getting colder and it was cold when we opened. So we work with Rocky Mountain Fresh a ton, which they have huge greenhouses. So we're lucky enough to almost have heirloom tomatoes and cucumbers year round. We use the, or we have the heirloom tomatoes in the market. We also use them in our salads, um, nice. our house salad, which is great. All of our local greens, any, any sort of greens we get in the market or the restaurant are for Zed Farms, which is awesome because he worked at Long's Peak Pub. Uh, Greg Zylus and his, and his dad yeah. run it, and they actually donate 1,200 pounds of food to food banks a year. So I knew that I wanted to partner with them because that's amazing that they're supporting people who don't have the means to buy great food. Yeah. And so if we can support them, they can support that, and it's like it just you know, helping out the community. Um, the other little things we have in the market, we have local honey from Bee Hugger, we have great um, local candles, we have hot, or hot sauce, we have barbecue sauce from Georgia Boys, you know, a ton, we have eggs and milk and ready to grab salads and meatballs nice. and Parmesan and just really fun drinks and wine, so really, Something for everybody. It's something for everybody. And if you can't find something, like I had someone call down yesterday and they're like, do you have flour in your market? I'm like, we don't, but we have flour in the restaurant, so I'll sell it to you. So <laughs> if you, there's something that we have and you need it, we'll find a way to provide it. There you go. To you. So what would you say, your customers are coming in, what's a favorite off of the menu? So we have two different styles of pizza, but the Detroit, our version of the Detroit style, so it's kind of a hybrid between the Detroit, a Roman, and a Sicilian. Um, it is by far the most popular thing on the menu and the most new, unique thing that I've had, I've never had a pizza like this. I was like, oh, square, I'm going to think a little dense, a little doughy, Sicilian, you know. But the um, Detroit style is light and airy and it's got a crispy frico, it's the cheese on the outside of the crust. Yeah. And it's, um, it's amazing. So Arabiata and I'd say the fungi, which features hazel dill mushrooms, um, are two of our most popular and they are phenomenal. Now, our round pizza is great as well, um, but 
something, we have amazing ground pizzas all over town, you know, but something that really sets us apart is our square. So I, the first time I saw it and like tasted it, like the cheese around the edge, like, and you said sometimes people think, oh, that's going to be really heavy or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's fluffy, it's like, it's something different, like, like you said, you don't get it anywhere in town, so. Yeah. I would say definitely come by, check out Urban Field Pizza and Market. It's right at 2nd and Main, just down the, from the slope side from 3rd. Uh, check it out, you're gonna find something in the market that, that's local, you're gonna find something on the menu that's different than somewhere else. It's delicious, it's awesome. The staff is amazing, and, uh, and you know, this, this has been a crew that's been working in restaurants forever. They know what they're doing, they run a great ship. Yeah. So uh, come down and check it out. And Lindsay, thanks for taking the yeah. time to tell us. Thank you for allowing me to.